Welcome to our relationship flow by Ellie Goldsmith. I'm going to go ahead because if I don't, <laughs> we won't get this important flow going. And it's something which takes dedication and determination to keep a flow, especially in the relationship level, which is probably one of the hardest parts of human development. Being that we are now holding at the climax of Shobhavim, which we've mentioned already a few times, these special six weeks, which helps us in our relationship focus, become more um, spiritual, more aware of the importance of relationships, more in tune with the holiness of relationships, and also gives us a special strength to overcome temptations to break those relationships in a, or break the trust or relationship flow that we have the strength right now in a divine sense like in a and I once again apologize for sound around me in my office and there are some people nearby um so just focus in on what we're trying to accomplish on the relationship flow podcast and being that thank god there are regular people listening to this weekly or every two weeks that we're able to post and being that my soulmate teeny pop 613 on instagram or Masha Goldschmidt is not here live right now. We might have an addition to add to this episode, but not guaranteed just because she thankfully is very busy with, you know, doing her role and doing her, thank God, her matter course, which she now is doing shifts successfully. And also that she is hopefully this week going to be hosting a wonderful Shabbos, first time in a while that we've been in a situation where we're able to host a bunch of guests being that, you know, with everything that's been going on this last few years and all the different struggles, just bringing up older teenagers is always a big um, energy, um, let's say, focus. I don't want want to use any negative words because having energy for older older teenagers definitely tests relationship boundaries in terms of that they need attention at all kinds of hours and you know not like a baby but a baby you know also needs <laughs> attention at all hours but uh, as a teenager gets older they're less bound by the, the regular schedule of you know going to bed at a normal time and waking up at a normal time going to school they have ability to you know go out later or have um, emotional needs that go past the general bedtime scenario i'm sure that can happen with other kind of age groups but I just feel that older teenagers just demand a certain mindset and um, availability. And something that, you know, my wife, my soulmate is excellent at in giving them that time and that support emotionally and something I could learn from. But being that we are now in this generation where we are 2022, um, being challenged to protect the bris, to keep the covenant, the spiritual focus of energy being channeled only in the right time in the right way with the right person this kind of challenge that is going on for all levels of of um people nowadays even youngsters all the way through to older people and it's something which we thank god if we're tuned in to the right kind of guidance and relationship flow then we will hopefully channel our energy in the right time in the right place in the right way only and that will give us a whole different experience of what relationships about there's a certain understanding a commitment a trust a love a deep love a deep feeling of of fulfillment in the relationship and knowing that the passions and desires have a place and have a path of expression that one of the biggest stumbling blocks I just got through a four and a half hour podcast of Jordan Peterson and uh, it was on Joe Rogan's excellent podcast which is something that you know I thank God get a lot of uh, information and enjoyment listening to so on this recent four and a half episode I managed to actually get through the whole thing would you believe it Um, There was a lot of discussion and touching on these kind of lack of creative outlets that has caused a lot of confusion on the relationship level. 
And by having those creative outlets and having those creative expressions, having those relationship expressions is very, very important that a person shouldn't end up with all the different confusions that are going on nowadays and this large divorce rate or this large gender dysphoria, whatever the word is, where people are confusing themselves about what they are uh, as a man or a woman and not knowing how to channel their energy level and, and passions and desires and sexual energy. And this is something we thank God with the time of show of intact, especially this year where it's a extended time and we have a leap year. So we're going into two months ahead, Chodesh Adar, where we get a lot of clarity by just looking simply at the past years of Shmos all the way through now to Mishpatim, there's a lot of clarity of what a person should be doing in their relationship, should be doing with their life, mitzvahs, understanding that there's challenges, there's an oppressor, but we got out of that oppression. Even, you know, Jordan Peterson's mentioned that, you know, Egypt was a certain oppressive society, a restrictive society, a limited society, and the freedom was going towards a more creative flow that conversation and connection should bring us. And so too in our relationships, we need to have that place and time to express those those deep needs and and hopefully the relationship has a fulfillment. You know, this is not going to say it's going to be easy. There's going to be challenges financially and emotionally, physically. And we've mentioned many different tools in the previous episodes, how to deal with that. And it's something which takes a lot of energy from us. I do apologize again. There's just a bit of sound around us, but we'll um, continue on anyway. My, my hope is that all of us are on this path towards fulfillment in relationships to know that there is with full clarity a soulmate or someone we can join together with and have that kind of deep intimate experience it doesn't always have to be obviously sexual if you're not able to find the physical soulmate but you can have it on an emotional level spiritual level um you know there's there's many different levels of expressing relationship flow once again so we should always keep it in a broader sense that it doesn't just mean man and woman because not i don't mean god forbid in a gender confusion sense but just in terms of relationship connection they should be able to have intimate relationships with people beyond a physical soulmate and that is very important to know that you can have a mentor you can have a guide you know right now we're praying for Rav Shalom Ben Yamna his full recovery he definitely has been a mentor and a spiritual guide for many many people maybe thousands hundreds of thousands through his books and through his teachings and that's one of the paths that I have with my winners our future podcast getting out that content putting it out and also some of the classes on the unity flow podcast as well as my own stuff um being that we have a unity flow course um that is on hold right now so we've been putting a lot of the unit united souls new book extracts are featured now on substack which i will post below and we've been recently um posting over there <coughs> some relationship focus um content about the importance of souls and relationships and finding that soulmate and going on the inner level the inner journey of the soul and how fulfilling that will be for the relationships that we are developing so i'm going to put that link below check it out it's the most recent substack um uh, extract that i posted from my book united souls and uh being that that's not in the audio format um it's worth reading and you know if you want to give feedback i'd appreciate it if anyone wants to help edit that book it'd be appreciated and especially to get it published ultimately put it out there and um, we'll be in consistent with uh, will be consistent with our relationship flow and one of is our future podcasts the content and it will be consistent with a lot of what we've been discussing here um with my soulmate because the soul level is really the key to a lot of the struggles the relationships are going through it will give a foundation of truth and clarity to know that you're on the right path to constantly give you that that uh, place safe place safe space to go to on the relationship knowing when you're standing in front of god or praying or meditating in whichever way you do it that it should give you that familiarity that you know you have clear that this is your soulmate you made that commitment and if you haven't yet you'll find that commitment and you it will be blessed with that experience of knowing that there's someone who completes you because we are half the man we are half the person without that and it's something that we have to pursue it's part of one of the challenges of being in this world and we have to accept that challenge 
and it is you know a constant consistent challenge even once you found that person to develop that and to maintain it and it takes a, con a consistent um, effort on a daily level that's one of the reasons why these time frames like Shobhavim these six weeks or now eight weeks um, and these two months of Adda gives us a time frame to really work on developing more joy in our relationship Mishin Nicholas Adam Mab and Basimhu as these months come we want to increase our joy and joy is a big element of the soul level the soul thrives in a, in a joyous environment so we have to create that kind of joyous atmosphere in our home and as much as we can we're going to have struggles with that once again on a financial physical level but we have to work hard to have a healthy lifestyle and hopefully uh, abundance that we can bring that into the home as I mentioned in previous episodes here so I'm just going to round off I hope my soulmate will herself will feature at the end a little bit of it and I'm once again apologize for the sounds around me but I do know all of us have the ability to have enhanced relationship flow. Please send your relationship flow and all the best.